Are you ready for Valentine's Day? Because this is a very good idea to prepare for Valentine's Day. Let me show you how to make these beautiful baskets. And I'm going to share with you how much I spent and give you ideas of the snacks that you can put in the basket. And if you don't like wine or you don't drink, you can put anything inside. The idea is to prepare a beautiful basket and share it with your loved ones. So let's get going. Let me share with you how I prepare this basket step by step. Designs, unique expressions. First thing is to get the basket the size that you need. In my case here, I needed a bigger basket because I have four wines and all the snacks. Another thing very important is to raise all your items. You don't want the items to be sunk in the basket. So I'm adding styrofoam, but I am wrapping it with tissue paper and putting it at the bottom like this. And I'm going to cut another piece of this styrofoam. You're probably going to think, where did I get this? Let me tell you, I don't throw away anything, especially when it comes to this kind of thing, because I use this a lot. I use this for a lot of different crafts. As you can see, I spray painted it in gold. You don't have to. This was for a previous project. This is just a leftover. So you see I use it to raise the gem and you cannot even see the gold and I'm trying to put everything together to see which way they go better more steady using double side tape to put them very close to each other this is going to prevent the items to move around in the basket It's all about the presentation. That's why you put the styrofoam at the bottom so you can showcase all your items. This is where all this styrofoam that comes in Amazon packaging comes very handy. I don't throw them away, almost never. I'm here using this shredder paper that I already have. You don't have to use this. You can use other type of fillers and cushion inside the basket, like tissue paper or more of the styrofoam to make sure that your items are not going to be shifting from one side to the other. Now that I put everything together, I just need to wrap the basket using my string wrap. You can use cellophane as well. I'm going to just cut it here. Just make sure that you cut a big piece. It's like probably four times the size of the basket. Another thing that is very important is to put the basket always in the middle of the paper so I'm moving it to make sure that it's in the middle then when I pull the shin wrap up it's completely even This is the back, so you fold the corners 
for the back. You twist the top and then you have your ribbon ready so you can make the tie. And to secure it, I always like to put tape around. Once you have it secure, then you take care of all the imperfections and the corners. So this is what I need. This is the back of the basket. So you put tape on the back, taking care of these corners. I recommend to use clear tape so it will be less noticeable. If you are using shrink wrap, you can use a heat gun or a blow dryer to heat the wrap. In that way, it adheres better to the basket and it kind of compressed everything together. I recommend you to use very low setting don't leave the heat gun too long in the same spot. Move it and use low setting. Give it a haircut. <laughs> and as a final touch, I'm adding more ribbon and I'm curling the ribbon up. I present you the wine around the world basket. It's Italian wine, French wine, California wine and Spain wine in here. Let me show you a couple more baskets. This one is a little bit smaller. And as you can see, I have this shoe that looks so fancy and very girly with a wine inside. And the same concept, I added all the cushioning and all the shredded paper on the bottom and now I'm going to wrap and covering the basket with a shrink wrap. I got this shoe at Total Wine, it's our local liquor store. For this one, I'm using a box with an organza bag that brought the shredded paper already. I got this at Total Wine as well, and this shoe that is a flower vase, I got it a little while ago at Publix, my local supermarket store. I'm adding the wine, and I'm going to add the roses here and a box of chocolate and then i'm going to just close the bag and that's it this is very simple and of course i added a little bit more with a peacock feather on the top what do you think these are all the baskets i made Here are the materials and costs. And 
here are some ideas what to put in a tea or a coffee gift basket. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, goodbye.